trademarks and copyrights. I get asked this question nonstop, and the problem with it is the fact that I really can't even answer it. I'm not qualified enough or have enough information for you to be able to do so. But I can let you know about my experiences with it, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you some good resources for you to be able to uh, trademark your brand and copyright it in the right path. All right, so check it out. Trademarks and copyrights for your clothing brand, your apparel brand, or whatever it may be. In my experience, the only thing I've ever done is trademark things. Um, you can always go to USPTO.gov. That's the trademark office. And you can also go on here to search to even see if your trademark has been used. And most of the time for us, we have to see if it's been used in the clothing category. So in about 2015, 2016, I attempted to trademark something uh, myself on the trademark website. And I went directly on the website and I attempted to trademark it myself and I signed up and I paid I can't remember exactly but I think it was like a hundred a hundred fifty dollars to file it and you have to gather your specimens anything and everything that's related to your brand brand and upload that as well and whenever you trademark it it goes towards the office right and the office can reject it because it can be confused with other brands that's not even necessarily in your category of trademarks so at that point in time, it was either I could abandon it or I had to respond in a proper fashion, which I really didn't know how to do so. So that was my first experience. I just left it abandoned because the information that they provided back was really confusing with the brand that I had with other brands that was also out. So the second, third, and fourth time around, I pretty much just use LegalZoom. You could go directly to a trademark attorney as well, but LegalZoom was just an easier way for me to do this. This is this video is not paid by LegalZoom. It was easier for me to do this. I just went on a website. It was like 600 bucks, and that's just to be able to use their attorney. And you type in the information that you want. Still go to USPTO.gov and use their search system to make sure that it's something that you can trademark first of all, and that it's not taken. But I went to LegalZoom and once you pay that $600, you'll go through a intake call and you'll talk to someone from LegalZoom's in and they'll explain to you what you need before you talk to the attorney. Then you get to talk to the attorney and you let them know what your brand is and then they will file the trademark for you. So if the USPTO.gov, the trademark office, comes back and say something about the brand, they're able to respond to it properly. More knowledge that I have so this made it more easy for me but you have to pay that $600 on top of still that filing fee which is like 150 bucks or so so for me that $600 was more worth it because it was just something I didn't have to worry about and I know it's being done correctly you might be able to find a trademark attorney nearby who charges probably like half the price I wouldn't doubt it but this was a lot easier for me that's just my experience of trademarking something as far as copyrights I don't know I really still don't even understand exactly how it works I know it's something along the lines of like you know Disney copywriting um, the Little Mermaid and then they they own everything under that umbrella as well like Sebastian they might not have the uh, the fish or whatever trademarked or whatever but it's still under that copyright umbrella I'm not too sure but that's why this resource right here that I'm about to give you can be really powerful so I've mentioned this before Skillshare I have a link down below for free trials all right so make sure you click the link down below for Skillshare go on there type in trademark there's hundreds of videos to help you understand this and even show you how you can file it yourself and you can even go on there and learn about copyrights that way you can learn about all of this too. skim through some videos see if this is something that you want to do yourself and then decide if you want to go through the route of doing it yourself or hiring an attorney to do it for you and also my homie Charles from Teacher Millionaires has a really good video on this here's the video right here I'll also post the link down below but make sure you check out that Skillshare link because you know I've mentioned Skillshare several times you can use it for design learn about design learn about selling online but right now more importantly you can use it to learn about trademarks and copyrights from somebody who's way more informed than I am about this information all right so make sure you check that out my name is Rich see you next time Peace.